Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, I couldn't resist making a video here about, <clears throat> excuse me, Hurricane Lane, because this is what happens on all the hurricane reporting. They grow greatly overinflate the wind speeds. Now you can see here, I'm on Venture Sky, and I'm going to show you two other active weather site which is giving you real-time measurements from the satellites on what's actually going on with these storms now last time I saw on AccuWeather they were giving us a 130 mile an hour <laughs> hurricane speed wind speed which is ludicrous as you can see here the top wind speed is not even at hurricane strength which i believe is what 70 miles an hour something like that hang on let's check it okay so i googled hurricane one category one hurricane wind speed comes up with this saffir simpson hurricane wind scale which is what they all use as you can see a cat one winds have sustained wind speeds have to be between 74 and 95 miles per hour well wow. This one, to be honest, I've been following it for the last several days and it's never gotten above 74 miles per hour sustained wind speed at 10 meters above the ground or less. Now, the only thing I can figure is they're going off wind gust speeds. But even that doesn't give you 130 mile per hour wind speeds nor did it ever give you the hundred and what did they have it up to 150 160 mile an hour something like that cat 4 cat 5 at one point well that never happened guys honestly the only thing i can figure is you have to go up 3000 meters in height and you still don't get that high of a wind speed you have to go up around 5,500 meters, which is over two miles. And look, you still don't have that high wind speeds. So, I mean, this is crazy. About the highest wind speed at altitude is around 1,500 meters. So, you can go 500 meters above the ground okay well we got 85 there 87 okay so we'll just show you another one this is on the uh, windy.com windyty.com okay, I got rain punched up here but we can punch up the wind and this is going by knots a knot mile per hour is 1.15 times the knot speed so if you take 1.15 times 36 knots it gives you what 41.4 miles per hour that's not the highest one because the highest one was down in here okay so 57 knots so something like that so we'll say 57 knots. That's about the highest that I can find on this channel or on this windyty.com. So let's see, 57 times 1.15, that equals 65 miles per hour. So, I mean, it pretty much corresponds with surface. I mean, it's close. It's within, say, plus or minus 10 miles an hour with this model here on Venture Sky. Then you go over to this is uh, well, of course this is the Null School one, which gives you another representation of what's going on. So, 
got it punched up on the miles per hour wind speed at the surface so you can see we got 71 miles per hour here that's about the highest I could find well there's 79 sort of within there so we have a hurricane there just in that one little spot though so let's see where you go so you go up to a thousand that's a thousand millibars this this they measure in the altitude with millibars here I'm not exactly sure how this plays out to what the actual altitude is but as you can see it's way above the surface and here's another thing mean sea level pressure look it's at 10 1 0 0 0 let's see if they have sea level pressure here yeah here's pressure Okay, that's 28.87 that's in the different measurement but we can find out what that corresponds to here on Vinci Sky this is my favorite site here this Vinci Sky site so I got it punched up in the uh, HPA which is usually what they give you on these forecast models they give you the sea level pressure in these, inc in these increments so well, you can see it's a little bit lower than the one showing over on null school maybe 12 13 14 points lower but it's all within sort of a range of plus or minus 10 maybe 15 at the most now you can change this one here so in HG it's showing about 29.2 and on this uh, windy ty it showed 28.87 so that's they're pretty much in the ballpark there okay then we got the waves they got a nice feature here with waves it shows you what the waves are as you can see there's no serious wave action here yet around the big island then let's go to precip okay this is rain accumulation for three hours so here we got the big island on the uh, east side tip near Hilo we got less than half an inch in three hours the last three hours now I saw a report on AccuWeather. Unfortunately, I don't get the Weather Channel because I got Verizon FiOS cable, which discontinued the Weather Channel. But I'm sure they're giving the inflated, grossly inflated reports, just like AccuWeather, where I saw they said that they already got nine inches over here in uh, Hawaii, in the Big Island, or whatever. Or they, they might even have said it was up in Oahu, which that is totally ludicrous because they're getting much less rain over here <clears throat> now here's what they're maybe basing stuff on this is going to give you a rain accumulation forecast model I'm not sure exactly how far this extends but this is what they're forecasting for this storm I guess until this hurricane clears out of the area so the most they got is about 15 inches forecast there Honolulu not much there we got six something there so let's go back to Venture Sky and you got a wave feature here too punch up here's the Cape index this shows you the potential in the atmosphere for severe weather the atmosphere potential energy that's what that APE stands for you can see it's quite low right here in the eye it's a little bit pretty high out here that's like mid mid-range high but not too bad 
as you can see here we got no no atmospheric energy hardly and around the storm as well we got none out here because this is where all the dry air is which as i've mentioned before is actually laced with acetic acid from vinegar that people put out and what happens is the vinegar or the acetic acid reacts with the clouds which are formed from the chemtrails because the chemtrails have a lot of alkaline salts in them that's what they're mostly based with along with the all the other nanoparticles and aluminum strontium barium and whatever that uh, the powers that be can use to move the stuff around or excite with their frequency models their frequency emitters and what happens is the acidic acid interacts with the alkaline based salts which they're totally polar opposites chemically and the chemical reaction releases energy from within the atmosphere so that's why you see these CAPE indexes so low so here I pulled up uh, the GOES East full disk view band 10 band 10 is the uh, water vapor and the lower altitudes lower to mid range altitudes this is the mid mid to lower mid to upper altitude range this is the one that you usually get on the uh, weather channels they give you this water vapor energy to sh imagery to show you the dry air sorry and uh, so this is where the acidic acid is it's in this dry air as you can see when it gets put out or when it encounters cloud features that have moisture in them and this is at the lower altitude so you can see there's a whole lot more at the lower altitudes because that's how where it originates from people put it out thank God so you can see what I'm talking about here uh, this this doesn't give you a very good shot of Hawaii but uh, if we back this out you can see that the dry air here we go so let's see if Hawaii we could catch Hawaii on here so it's like right off of the tip of the Baja Peninsula and see how far this extends over yeah, so you can see there's the dry air so that's eliminating the uh, cape index. See, there's like no cape index. Now there's the clouds. That's a whole other story. See the dry air? No cape index, no atmospheric potential. Now these cloud features, that's a whole other story. You see how they'll, how pockmarked they are? But anyway, like I was saying, those clouds are another story, but... I pointed it out on some earlier vids. I tried to pull up healerviewer.org right now, and apparently that website's down. But these pockmarked grid pattern, it looks it looked to me like a magnetic resonant grid pattern on all of the Earth's clouds. This is planet wide, and it matches up to the grid pattern that's shown around the sun on the SDO and the A1A Soho satellite spacecraft stereo spacecraft you can check out one of my prior videos for that so what I'm trying to get at is the media is grossly highly inflating the hurricane reports for whatever reason I can't exactly say why they over inflate the hurricane disaster reports and then they minimize a lot of the other stuff which is associated with the approaching nemesis Nibiru solar system. That's all I can figure. I don't know. It's a lot of hype, and I guess I can gauge your reaction to see how well you react to what they tell you to do in the media. So there you have it. Looks to me like this hurricane's dead. It's going to be dead. Stick a fork in it. You can see all this clear air is coming in and it's going to erode the storm.